hi guys welcome back to spice channel tv thank you for always coming out here if you're joining us for the first time please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up thank you my country people the labor party reacts after reports claim that obi will soon be arrested yes the labor party has described as mischievous claims that Peter Obi, its presidential candidate in the 2023 elections, will soon be arrested. In a statement on Monday, the National Publicity Secretary of the party, Pastor Obiora Ifo, said the party was aware of various trending stories in print and video suggesting that Mr. Peter Obi will soon be arrested as the stories are draped with so-called prophecies calling for prayers on Obi as he would be arrested. Ordinarily, such stories should not deserve our attention. However, we are concerned when these fake stories flying around are just just patients with video clips, you know, spliced from pre-election and campaign speeches where Obi had underscored to Nigerian youth the importance of taking back our country. Now, to contravene such videos as recent remarks and efforts to make them look fresh is simply mischievous if not criminal the ploy is simply and surely aimed at orchestrating a false culpability we must reiterate for the record ob's adherence and commitment to the rule of the law and non-violent politics on march 1st 2023 when the ANEC announced its charade election results by 4 a.m., Obi's supporters across the country and in Despera mounted pressure on him to authorize a mass protest, but he declined, insisting instead that taking back Nigeria through him will come through due and peaceful process and not by violence, he said. He said that the insinuation that Obi is orchestrating violence is a fragment of imagination of the actors, of the authors, and giving a dog a bad name in order to hang it. He insisted that Obi is not a violent man. He believes justice must reign no matter how long it takes. For those people trying to pin some certain things on Obi, saying he would be arrested, this and that, that and this. Obi is not a violent man. No. Those that are claiming that he will be arrested are just mischievous. So Obi is a very quiet person. No. Even all those prophets that are giving prophecies on Obi, they should leave him alone. Those prophets should leave Obi out of their prophecies. Those men of God that are saying this and that for Obi, well, they should leave him alone because... People that are giving prophets, uh, prophecies, all those prophets, they should leave Obi out of their prophecies. Because some of them have been seeing visions where Obi was arrested. Apart from these prophecies, the party is even concerned about the old video clips of Obi telling people, that's the young people, the youth, to take back their country. They make it appear to be a recent video. Ordinarily, these stories is not what the Labour Party is ought to comment. But, uh-uh, for being a very quiet man, no, according to the Labour Party, oh, and all these things is just aimed at painting Obi to be a bad person. How can smooth stayers, how can prophets prophesy that Obi will soon be arrested? They should leave Obi out of it. They should give their prophecies, but must Obi be among their prophecy? I mean... According to the former Nambra state governor, he believes he does not need to drag his supporters out in the streets to achieve a new Nigeria. He doesn't need to create violence or protests to create new Nigeria. Even when obese supporters across the country, those in the diaspora, when they urged him to authorize a mass protest, insisting that the results declared on March 1st was a false result, but Obi said no, he won't as a calm person that he is, as a peaceful person that he is. He won't do such a thing. He will surely get Nigeria into its former glory. But for now, he's not going to 
go into the path of violence just as a lot of people had urged him to take the path of violence so people that are creating up stories saying obi would be arrested this and that that and this will be committed treason because a lot of people are saying eh, hey, since obi has been telling the youth to go into the path of violence that obi has been inciting violence through the youth through the obedience that Obi should be arrested for treason. Obi will soon be arrested for treason. A lot, of, a lot of people are saying, well, the DSS would soon pick up Obi because it's so obvious that he is committing treason by inciting violence through the obedient youth. Well, Obi has said Nigeria definitely would be rescued without violence. Obi is not going to take Nigeria by force by force. He won't take power by force. So those that are suggesting the arrest of Peter B over an alleged violent takeover of political power, they are just trying to create troubles because OB never made any violent call. OB himself rejected violent calls immediately after the result was announced. So why would such a person want to bring violence on this nation when him himself is advocating for peace? He is a very quiet person. Someone that said, well, even when the tribunal gave it judgment, they rejected it and headed to the Supreme Court to appeal. Even when INEC released the 2023 presidential election results, OB kicked against it. The Labour Party rejected it. They approached the court and then the court gave it judgment. But OB is still pursuing the case. So my country people, according to the Labour Party, Obi believes justice must reign no matter how long it takes. Guys, Nigerians have reacted. Any attempt to frame arresting Obi or doing it at all will automatically change the entire goalpost. No one, no one should joke with Nigerians. Peter Obi can be arrested if he goes beyond his boundaries and nothing will happen. Well, this APC... They are more angry against Obi, even after stealing other people's mandates. These advanced political criminals, Nawa, lies from the pit of hell. Arresting Obi is another civil war. Why are they arresting him? And what are they arresting him for? These are false prophets. They failed Obi. Let the prophet tell you his offense. Obi views that we... The progressive Nigerians should take back our country does not mean through violence, but rather through the ballot box, which is clearly in an electoral process. The performance of Peter Obi in the 2023 election shows that the Nigerian electorate are the desirous of entrancing a new political order through a free, fair election. So whether this Pupetic political hoodlums tormenting the Nigerian people wants it or not, we must take back our country through the electoral process. Please, let them arrest him and let's see what will happen in this country. Okay guys, these are reactions from Nigerians. So my country people, I'm dropping here. What are your thoughts on this? Can you share your thoughts concerning this in the comment section? Thank you.